Okay, so in this video, I just wanted to go over the type of motorcycle safety gear that I use. And the first piece of equipment I like to talk about is the helmet, because it's the most important piece of equipment, because it protects the most vital part of your body. And the helmet that I started on was the HAC IS-33. It's a three-quarter face helmet, and as you can see, I upgraded the stock clear visor to this chrome visor, mainly because... I wanted extra sun protection, but on uh, really sunny days, you can also use the built-in uh, sun visor, and which easily retracts. And yeah, that's one unique feature I find about HGC, HJC helmets that I really like. Um, but the main reason I upgraded from the IS-33 to the Shoei RF-1100 is because I wanted a good quality full-face helmet. Um, I realized that you know if you fall on a motorcycle and you don't land on your back, chances are your chin is going to hit the ground so I didn't really want to risk that happening and a really important thing for me about a full face helmet is to get decent airflow because I have to ride in the Texas heat so obviously it's not going to give me the same type of airflow as the three quarter face helmet but I found um, this RF 1100 helmet to give really really good airflow um, there are seven ventilation points you have one here and you have two here two here and two here and this helmet is really lightweight and the fit is really good which I think is true of all Shoei helmets so highly recommend the Shoei RF 1100 and the third piece of equipment that I always use is my uh, motorcycle jacket this is the Alpine Star TRC1 Air jacket it's a mesh textile jacket um, I guess the most important thing to know about um, the Alpine Star jackets is that you should definitely upgrade the armor if you can. Um, the armor that it came with was a really seemed like a really cheap piece of styrofoam, which I don't think will do anything to protect you against impact damage on a, during a fall. Um, but it might save you some skin if you're sliding. Um, the upgraded armor looks like this. It's a really thick, pliable um, piece of rubber. And if I fall on this, I'm sure this will give me really good uh, impact damage on top of protecting me when I'm sliding. Um, the Alpine Star Jackets also has a built-in liner, which I use on rainy days and on cold days. It really protects against the rain and the wind. Uh, I haven't had any problems with this inner liner. So the fourth, or the third piece of equipment that I always use is my uh, riding gloves. And these are speed and strength. I think they're the moment of truth gloves and the main reason I bought these was because it has really good knuckle protection which is quite important when you're riding on the freeway um, and you have cars or trucks in front of you kicking up rocks um, you really want good knuckle protection and this also has really good airflow so the fourth piece of equipment that I don't have here are my riding shoes I use speed and strength uh, run with the bulls shoes now those aren't the most, you know, full-blown riding shoes. They won't give you the maximum protection, but I wanted something that um, could have a good balance between protection and casual wear because I have to wear those around all day when I'm on campus or in my office. So highly recommend those shoes. It has really good ankle protection and armor where you need it. So these two are my optional pieces of safety gear. Um, I wear these if I'm doing any type of freeway riding or if I'm going to be riding for longer than 30 or 40 minutes at a time. Uh, these are Alpine Star armored compression shorts. The armor, armor itself is pretty flimsy, but um, if I fall and I'm sliding, this will definitely save me some skin, but probably won't do much in terms of impact protection. Um, these are force field uh, body armor, and I think these are called limb tubes. These can fit around your knees or your elbows. I wear these around my knees, so these serve as knee and shin guards. And um, the fit is really nice, and it's tight enough where I can easily fit a pair of jeans over them. So highly recommend these for uh, knee or elbow protection. So yeah, that's a quick summary of all the safety gear that I use, and I hope it helps anyone that's... Uh, um, new to motorcycles and is shopping around for gear for the first time so if you have any questions about any of these items you can just leave me a message uh, or leave a comment thanks